pretty old houses. The lovely little bungalows up on the hill. They've been there for years. Not much changes in Mission Hills, even the people. Once they come, it seems they never want to leave. It's been that way since the beginning. In 1913, Giuseppe Antonicelli, an Italian immigrant, came to work here for Kate Sessions at the Mission Hills Nursery. His son Frank was born here in 1925 and owns the nursery today. Frank has a lot of memories. One that really stands out, the air defense balloons they used to launch behind the nursery in World War II. In 1942, as a youngster, as a teenager, I remember the blackouts in San Diego. We put down the shades, the blinkers on the cars. And so we had a war scare. This was the civil defense headquarters in World War II, the Guyman Mansion. Built in the 20s, it's also where Jeanette Guyman Cassidy grew up. I still see some of the old ladies that I thought were old when I was growing up. They were probably my age now. And it just, as I said before, has this wonderful dimensional feel about it. On any Saturday morning, if you sit in the Huddle restaurant and watch what's going on outside, you'll see everything. You'll see the old ladies who've lived here for 50 years. You'll see young families. You'll see gays. You'll see a certain degree of ethnic types walking by. And they all belong, and they all blend right in, and it feels real good. Captain Henry Johnston bought 65 acres of land from the city of San Diego in 1869. He paid $16.25. Now, he never lived on this land, but in 1910, his grandson subdivided the area and called it Inspiration Heights. About the same time, another man developed the area near Fort Stockton and Arden and called it Mission Hills. That's the one that stuck. Mission Hills has been Ron Kiefer's home since the late 50s. Residents have shopped in his stores for nearly 25 years. The customers are still the same. Ron says it's like living in a small town and that's what he likes. You can walk down the street and say good morning to someone and you know most of the people. I grew up in a small town of around 6,000 people and that's what Mission Hills is mainly alike. It's like a small town. Ron knows his customers, says he's seen their kids grow from the grocery cart on up. Some of them played on the numerous softball teams the store is sponsored. Now they bring their kids in to show them the pictures. And I have to say I'm from the Midwest and this is the only store that you can walk into and your children can come in and sign for a bottle of Pepsi or, you know, and uh, back home you could do that too in our small hometown. You like Mission Hills? Oh, I love Mission Hills. I feel like I've died and gone to heaven. Like every neighborhood, Mission Hills is the people. But here it's also very much the homes. Dennis Frieden has been selling houses here for 10 years and he has seen property value skyrocket. The first house I sold in Mission Hills was, uh, I think I sold it for $35,000. That same house today probably worth uh, two hundred. dollars In 10 years? The location of Mission Hills is five minutes from all the major features of San Diego, and uh, it's a highly desirable neighborhood. Of course, homes may not go up for sale all that often. You'll find once people come here, they don't want to leave especially for those who grew up in a small town, like Doris Gale. For them, coming to Mission Hills is like going home. I love it. I think it's the greatest place in town to be. Mm -hmm. 